Hello, good morning and good evening everyone. Today I'm cooking um, pancit bihon and brain sprout with kale and lynchon meat chicken together. So, first time I cook this food guys, with call invented recipe. So, you have to try guys. When you First, we are going to our garden at the backyard and grab some, harvest some kale, fresh kale, which I plant. And also, my dog is following me. So, as you can see, guys, they always go with me wherever I go. So, now, picking, harvesting the kale fresh from my garden. So, now, we need to soak the bihun oil noodles on the water and also you have to slice one half of onion of fresh onion and also that's optional is uh, onion chives or scallion and three cloves of on uh, one half bell pepper green bell pepper if you have no green you can do either one red or green or yellow pepper that's only optional guys no? and then we have to pour cloves of fresh garlic and we have to slice in small cube as you can see guys this is a uh, first time i cook this kind of recipe because of my recipe guy in bintin whatever you are if you don't like the kill because the kill is a little bit bitter so you have to put like bok choy or chinese pichai or carrots so I stop you guys but i choice the kale because I need a calcium. So guys, the luncheon meat I bought this in Walmart like one dollar and ninety seven cents. So this is chicken luncheon meat. So I slice that slanting. So this is our like protein, you know. So either one, if you want to meat, then you can meat beef or pork or chicken, fresh chicken, whatever. So it's up to you guys, but I chose this luncheon meat. So this is invented my recipe. We'll see. It came out very delicious because it's a little bit like bitter because I think I add more little bit of uh, kale but I like more kale because I need the calcium so guys so as you can see now I'm done and this is the bihon or noodles that I soak with the water don't soak too much because we don't want like the shag, shag, uh, saggy and also the kale so if you want it a little bit kale and also the frozen carrot slice and now I add like two tablespoon of oil. So we start your stir fry with the onions. And then when the onions is half cooked, then we have to add the fresh garlic, four cloves of garlic. And if you want like dice the if you want the shrimp paste or we do call that um, sauce paste sauce, then it's okay. And then also the luncheon meat chicken and you have to stir it and then you have to add water estimate the water maybe one cup of water or, or two cups of water so and now the two tablespoon of oyster sauce then the one tablespoon of black pepper and the pour beef stock or beef powder Beef powder and beef stock is like uh, MSG, but it's not MSG. Instead, I use MSG. I rather use the beef stock powder because they put that all the time, the soup and the what you call. And also, you have to add the carrots. The carrots I bought also the Walmart. So two tablespoon of sugar. Sugar is the make your food is tasty and also the kale. So as you can see, guys, you can add like kale little bit or i add more because i like it because i need a calcium what i said if you have no kale you can add the cabbage or bok choy or chinese pizza you know it is your option and also the noodles that i soak with the water so now let the uh, add the brain sprout, sprout or taugi so the bell paper paper is optional and also one packet of uh, pancit bihon powder 
and so little bit of soy sauce because i don't want the donuts i look like peel and also the sugar guys so you have to mix it well and don't too much overcook because we don't want our pancit and brain spot and kill like look saggy you know please subscribe likes and please leave comment thank you so much for your support please support my youtube channel and subscribe leave comment and this optional the scallion or onion chives or onion leaves i add a little bit of soy sauce so it's up to you guys no i don't recommend you to put the kale but mine i love the kale to put this because what i said kale is good for uh calcium if you have lack calcium then but i need to have a calcium uh, so now our food is look like ready to serve and then we have i have to add like a little bit of salt to taste or but i decide to put the salt with the garlic salt so now our food is ready so thank you so much subscribe likes and please leave comment and don't forget the post the notification bell so every time i upload my video you always update so thank you and god bless bye see you in my next video i love you all thank you to all support please support my channel asian cooking with mj thank you so much i love you all and god bless and gold black